Welcome back to halftime here in the UFL. At sa puntong ito, we're with the assistant team manager of Tiliman Antonov, John Gutierrez. And John, as uh, assistant team manager, you must be pretty happy with the form of your team. Well, uh, we could we could do better. We're uh, we're up 1-0. No, we're looking for more goals because uh, we're going to need it uh, in case we go to aggregates. But uh, so far, so good. So you know, must be really happy because. Hindi lang yon dahil mukhang lalakas pa kayo. Sino ba ang darating para sa dili sa Diliman? Well, as everybody knows, no, most of our players are former UP uh, standouts and now that the UAAP is done, uh, we are going to take their full back line, uh -huh. UP full back line. Of course, there's Jay Eusebio and uh, our uh, our number one scorer, uh, Jingoy Valmayor. So, yes, uh, we're we're beefing up mm -hmm. uh, for the coming round. <laughs> yes. And, and you're beefing up, it seems, dahil uh, pinatarget nyo yung uh, number one para kayo ng uh, susunod na uh, miyembro ng uh, first division. That's true, that's true. No? We're trying to make a run at uh, the first division. So uh, we're also getting yung U UP goalkeeper who had a shutout this year, mm -hmm. uh, si Tai Cabales. Uh -huh. So yeah, uh, we're hoping for the best you know? and uh, with, uh, with the addition of the UAAP players. I guess we'll do better. And John, uh, speaking of uh, looking good, <laughs> ngayon naman uh, mga kasama natin, one of the Antonov Vodka Rebelettes, and her name is Natasha. Hello, Natasha. How are you today? I'm very good today. Let me ask you one thing. You're one of the Antonov Vodka Rebelettes. How do you like your vodka, and why do you love Antonov? I like my vodka on the rocks and on the way and wherever I want it. And uh, uh, why I like this vodka, because I'm from Russia, and this vodka, it has taste of like some spirit of Russia, mm -hmm. that's why I like it. Me also, I like the spirit of Russia, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. But anyway, uh, you see, John, uh, it yes. seems that, uh, you know, sponsors are coming in, it yes. looks like it's going to be a, a great year for uh, the demand. Yes, yes, absolutely. We'd like to thank Antonov for sponsoring us. You know, they're not just good drinks, they, they're also uh, good uh, sportsmen and sportswomen. So, Thank you so much for uh, Antonov. Uh, for the Russian ladies, thank you so much. Ayan, kita naman, pati halftime dito sa UFL. Punong puno ng saya. And when we come back, we look at the numbers. Not of the uh, Antonov uh, uh, Rebelets, ha? Hindi yung numbers nung ating uh, unang uh, half dito sa ating laban. Back here in the UFL, and uh, just before the start of the second half, at kasama ko na naman yun. Kanina, parang mas okay yung kasama ko. Alam mo, nagtat <laughs> nagtatampo ako sa'yo ngayon kasi hindi ako nasama doon sa interview. <laughs> Iniwan kita eh. One nil po ang ating score, courtesy of a uh, second minute goal by uh, Zerudo. And, uh, I don't know, okay, half time kanina. I must say, hindi kita na miss. <laughs> but <laughs> but at let's look at what happened. From uh, Ariel Zerudo <laughs> off a penalty at the second minute of the game, which gives Diliman the 1-0 lead and has continued to stay on um, at halftime and second half is still at 1-0. We'll see how Laos will bounce back and try to level this game. Some more images the, uh, ready of the first half. Uh, we'll see Oliver Moreno with a good save, another good catch. He's been on his toes right now. Been working doubly hard, Oliver Moreno. He's playing very well for Laos and he needs to step up, knowing that they're up against Diliman. Uh, starting off, uh, ito yung uh, nangyari kanina, shots on goal and uh, the rest Four of the for Diliman, for five for Laos, three shots, two shots for Laos, nine fouls for Diliman as compared to five. Given up corners, two, so one for Laos. So far, no yellow red cards in this game, huh? So it's very clean. Very clean. Hope so to continue far. it. <laughs> Peace. On top of the ball and to start possession in the second half is Laos uh, trailing in this match. 1-0. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the Antonov Vodka Rebelettes for joining us in the halftime. For joining you. <laughs> And uh, feel free to join us again. Matikman na ngayon, Antonov. Hindi pa natitikman yun. Hindi pa natitikman. They're very catchy. 
Very catchy. Yeah. The, the Revelettes have uh, actually uh, opened their mind, yeah, made their decision to Pwede actually. Pwede ka na pwede uminom, di ba? Kailangan. Oh nga, no? Hindi na pwede. <laughs> social drinking, social drinking. Konti, konti na lang. At least for a couple of months, yeah? Uh, no, I'm good to drink right now. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> right after, after seeing that, I'm good to drink right now. <laughs> I'm good. Give me that drink. Premier League standings, bottom of your screen. Uh, it is, seems to be just a battle of uh, Manchester at the moment uh, at the uh, English Premier League uh, ready. Well, it looks like uh, Manchester City um, giving United a run for their money. But um, we'll see, matagal pa, matagal pa yung, yung Liga. On tap, uh, on active, will be Chelsea against Stoke. That's March 11, Sunday at 2 p.m. There is a change para sa Laos. Uh, in comes uh, Diano and out comes uh, Roddy Lear. Diliman in the white kit. While Laos in the uh, yellow and black. See another build-up play for Diliman. Great lob pass. Moreno kicks it away. And... Oh, whoa! Cerudo with an open <laughs> goal. Almost, almost. Here it is. Here's Sorry. that play. It was poor clearance from Moreno and Zerudo. Oof. Oh, just oh, raised. Man. Talk about nonchalantly putting it, but put too much spin. And it was going away from Even goal. Another error for Laos, and it could have cost them and would have given Diliman a 2 0 lead. Let's talk about uh, after, after this possession by Diliman. This is Diliman trying to. Uh, Get that ball through. Now let's talk about uh, Reli yung uh, sinabi ko ni John Gutierrez about uh, looks like they're going to have the entire back line. They want to get their keeper and they're going to get uh, Jingoy as well. So how much better does that make itong team ng Diliman? It makes them the best <laughs> right now. In, in the second division? Just considering it's not only that they're first they're getting the young ones from the college from the college division from the UAP and it goes to show that yung skill level nila is still at the all-time high, knowing that they've just clinched the crown, winning back-to-back -back titles, and especially with the, uh, I think they're gonna build up, you know, as it as it is with their goalkeepers. Ang lakas na mga goalkeepers ng Diliman. They're gonna add pa tayo kabalias. Oh, si uh, si Leung is actually malakas na matalino pa. Matalino, <laughs> galing raw Philippines. Yan sa yung qualifier kinito. Oo, oh, si Pin mo. Kaya mautak eh, mautak. Kaya sa goalkeeper, dapat mautak ka rin eh. So, <coughs> sabi nga nila, sabi nila, pero hindi ko lang di pa proven yun, ha? May chance na. Yun. Sa ganun, ha? Given na yun. <laughs> Alam mo bakit? Yun lang yung, ano, hindi masyado nakakalog yung ulo sa, sa pitch dahil kamay ang ginagamit. Yung iba, pa-header-header madalas, eh. Pero again, looking at it, going back to the whole um, lineup additions, addition to the lineup for, for Diliman, with Jingoy Valmayor back in Back in the back in the lineup, this will surely be a great, great threat in terms of their offense. And, and uh, dissecting that even more, how difficult will be that para dito sa Diliman to integrate these these uh, players? Will it be difficult? No, it, it will be easy to blend because if you know, itong Diliman, itong Diliman na uh, FC and and the UP squad, they practice together. They practice together in UP, so. The, well, no problem, man. It, it's just going to be able to blend in easily because they know already how each and everyone plays. And that's how the UP squad actually gets their training, playing against the second division team, Diliman. And, and it's pretty good training because you're basically playing with a lot of players with experience. Now, here is Laos trying to go on a counter. Given up by Laos. You know, Jason just wanted to note, no? When we mentioned earlier, his team manager, si Paolo Misa. Uh -huh. 
Uh, if, probably everyone doesn't know that uh, Paulo Misa actually works with Freddy Gonzalez, who is a player for <laughs> Pachanga. So imagine, imagine yan every week if naglalaro sila. Alaskahan. Alaskahan yan, di ba? So imagine what it will be like when they go up against each other next week. Actually, a lot of football players actually are uh, under the company of uh, Freddy. That's right. See, uh, of course, Paulo Misa is uh, the sales sales head for Aloha Board Sport. I think it's billable. And uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much a lot of it's um, a lot of friends of Freddy who are also former players. It's good to see that they're you know, still hanging around. And, uh, and someone like Freddy, who is still very active and trying to get into shape and still playing competitive football. And, and that's what, uh, really, you know, what uh, sports does, uh, having in the team sports does. Pag nagkaroon ka ng mga ibigan within that team, it, it's pretty much a lasting friendship because, uh, oof, as uh, play on, the Dukes gets uh, an elbow on the head, but... Uh, Cleared there by Laos, but a very, very dangerous play happening there as the demand. As we see this play, at this inabi natin, Ulo! Ulo sabay. Jukes is there. So definitely, it's, it's, it's a very, very difficult time for Jukes right now. You know very well. Again, he's one of the main guys for Laos. Hindi sila makakalusot. Hindi siya makakalusot ngayon. Para naman sa Bundesliga, eh, you just saw there what you're gonna have on tap. I believe that's gonna be Monday. Then uh, UFL Division 1 will come uh, pretty soon in uh, just a few weeks as the race for top spot for the UFL is pretty tight. So is the uh, race for the uh, championship of the second division as well. Especially with that victory of Queen City earlier today, 6-1 over Forza. Lumapit sila ngayon sa pareho sa Diliman at saka sa Pachanga. Actually, they're now at third place at the moment. Good showing by Cebu Queen City after a very, very rough start. Kapag parang nasanay na rin sila dun sa, um, dun sa itinerary nila na lipad, ensayo, laro. Lipad, ensayo, laro. Ah, oh, sarap na buhay yan, no? And, uh, I think that's also an advantage for them, um, being able to go through that rigid process of actually flying in. And it gives them an advantage, and they're they're scoring they're scoring a lot of goals right now. And 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 uh, I'm very happy that Cebu is actually in third place. Yeah, but but uh, and, and very happy because of the commitment that they've given. Diba? Iba yung commitment na ginagawa nila in terms of you know, the travel and all as Frimpong. No, very uh, that cross wanting in in quality. Frimpong, this Mark Frimpong, uh, who's uh, actually scored six goals for the team right now. But going back to Cebu, I mean, it's all about Cebu pride, and they know very well that they need to continue to to play well and to to show to be good role models for their fellow Cebuanos who aspire to be part of Cebu Queen City to play in the UFL. Kaya naman, there's a uh, may naririnig tayo hubugugong or clamor na may humihingi na magkakman laban either sa Cebu, yun, sa Iloilo. Maganda yun. Uh, yun ang uh, may mga humihingi niyan. We don't know that's gonna happen. But finally, first yellow card uh, meted out. I think someone took down on Donny Santos. And that is just outside the box. That is the booking will go the way of Viano, uh, who just actually moved in. Checked in. That was a slide, dangerous slide on Donny Santos. And fairly far, uh, this free kick. Na to. We thought it was a little closer. Not 